here we are again. This is the last one in the series about lifting your vibe. And this last one is about how to actually have that choice. That choice to choose your highest vibe. I let you know right clearly it is not easy as long as we are still stuck in dense energies whether it is through our soul journeys whether it is to our lineage journeys it's not always easy because the lower vibes and frequencies are really holding us and yes it's very important to actually let them go burn them, deconstruct them, let them blow up, put them in the fire. Some of these obviously you can do on your own and, and this is really about you getting that choice, you, you stepping into the power of your choice instead of being the slave of having to live in a lower vibe or a vibe that's not truly you. And the more you do your inner work, with the heart, with the soul, with your spirit, you will notice that this physical body is responding very well to what you're clearing in the non-physical realms, if you want to say that, in, and in the worlds beyond consciousness as our mind understands them. So the choice and the power of choice really comes when you are more free. Now, all of us came here with baggage. It's like that. The soul came here to be here at this time. They say that 4,000 souls applied for one life. You were chosen. And you wanted to be here for this. So you also wanted to be here, not only for that big show and the big end of the game, if you wish, of the old times, but you also choose this life so you could be free from all this past heaviness, density and your lower vibe in a way. So this is part of it. And you only have really the power of choice if, if you free yourself from it. Now, there's endless ways of doing that. And you might have a practitioner who may have started your journey. And you may already be free. It's not like... You have to go through each singleness, single, single one heavy, heaviness and heavy frequency and density and nonsense of the soul journey, the Akashic records, the karma, the dharma, the drama. It's not like that, but some of them are kind of interconnected and hence when you clear one, you possibly clear a lot more. So however you choose to do that or have chosen to do that this is a prerequisite for really having this power of choice to be in this highest frequency and yes it's very crucial so if you feel there's still something holding please contact me or contact somebody you know who does that kind of work as i said there's different modalities but yes this is one of our things too we call that heart harmonics we work with individuals remotely, figuring out what's holding, go on a sacred tracking journey, starting to destruct, uh, de deconstruct and kind of getting rid of it, lifting it into the higher arms, program it into a crystal, the new heart harmonics of your highest vibe and give it back to you. So you can now do something different and you have that power of choice. So yes, in order to get that power of choice, you really need to free yourself. Otherwise, your access to these beautiful higher octaves of consciousness and vibration frequency that's available is not so easy for you as you are still held in chains and chuckles. We are all different <laughs> in the lower realms. And so it's very important that you take these choices now. And so, if you should have that power of choice, then use it. Yes, it is like when you have it, what you're going to do with it. Or whatever power of choice you have, what you're going to do with it. I was reminded when this 
downloads came that Third World, I don't know if you're familiar with the reggae band from Jamaica, of course my home, so also my time of being in the reggae world. And one of their songs is Now That You Found Love, or Now That We Found Love, What We Gonna Do With It. So this is pretty much what this time is all about. Yeah, Bunny, the guy who I, I think he, he composed it and he was the lead singer. He passed already. I was with him, not in a physical when he passed. But I really feel this is, is more than the message at this time of his life. Now that you found it, now that you know that you can be in this vibe and you do have that choice, what you're going to do with it. Are you going to do something rushing in and trying to put another lid on what you don't want to know? Are you ready to go within and set free your beautiful vibe so we can be all part in this new world, in this new earth that is unfolding with or without us? But yes, it takes a little bit of work and it's your work. How you're going to do it, how it's connecting to you, entirely up to you. But yes, it's all part of the story to really being able to make that choice to stay in the higher vibe. And of course, there's also courses that can do it and so much more. We as the Sonic Song Course are part of these practitioners, whatever you want to call us, who are making that space. So should you resonate with us, please let us know. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it's also good. But please find your vibe. Please allow yourself to have that power of choice that we unfortunately have lost for thousands of years. Not only here on this planet, but also on others. So thank you for being here. And yes, there's another tune coming up. Course. And this tune is really to help you to dare, dare to be you, that uniqueness, that wholeness that you are. So you can vibe in your highest ascension, Aquarian, homoluminous frequency that is yours, to be part of of all of us in this beautiful new collective consciousness as it is fully harmonizing, attuning, unraveling. to be in the higher frequency, leave behind what no longer serves, the ego, the self-interest, the fear, the doubt, the pain, the shame, and the separation. I see you there in your highest life, from my heart.